get my phone set up here. I just finished having my oatmeal. Okay. Um, I believe it is my daily reading number 286. And I'm going to read out of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And it's All Small Stuff by Richard Carlson, Ph.D. I wonder if I could just say, by Dr. Richard Carlson, how about that? I think that would be okay. But I'm reading it the way it's on the cover. Okay. So this one is number 56. Be grateful when you're feeling good and graceful when you're feeling bad. The happiest person on earth isn't always happy. In fact, the happiest people all have their fair share of low moods, problems, disappointments, and heartache. Often the difference between a person who is happy and someone who is unhappy isn't how often they get low or even how low they drop, but instead it's what they do with their low moods. How do they relate to their changing feelings? Hey, Moon Sister! Most people have it backward. When they are feeling down, they roll up their sleeves and get to work. They take their low moods very seriously and try to figure out and analyze what's wrong. They try to force themselves out of their low state, which tends to compound the problem rather than solve it. When you observe peaceful, relaxed people, you find that when they are feeling good, they are very grateful. They understand that both positive and negative feelings come and go, and that there will come a time when they won't be feeling so good. To happy people, this is okay. It's the way of things. They accept the inevitability, the inevitability of passing feelings. So when they are feeling depressed, angry, or stressed out, they relate to these feelings with the same openness and wisdom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rather than fight their feelings and panic simply because they are feeling bad, they accept their feelings, knowing that this too shall pass. Rather than stumbling and fighting against their negative feelings, they are graceful in, the, in their acceptance of them. This allows them to come gently and gracefully out of negative feeling states into more positive states of mind. One of the happiest people I know is someone who also gets quite low from time to time. The difference, it seems, is that he has become comfortable with his low moods. Yes, passing feeling. It's almost as though he doesn't really care because he knows that in due time, he will be happy again. To him, it's no big deal. The next time you're feeling bad, rather than fight it, try to relax. See if Instead of panicking, you can be graceful and calm. Know that if you don't fight your negative feelings, if you are graceful, they will pass away just as surely as the sun sets in the evening. So, I think that's very good information. I will say that I know many people, friends and relatives, who, when they have those low states, something they tend to do is busy themselves in other things. Not even, as it mentioned, um, busying themselves trying to figure out what's wrong, but no, they'll busy themselves in other things. Every other thing, just keeping themselves busy in order to get their minds off of 
those low feelings, those low vibrational feelings. And what tends to happen is they will eventually resurface again. And there will be a feeling of anxiety that remains with you because you've just tried to bypass those feelings instead of accepting them. And what really is more beneficial um, is called shadow work. So what shadow work is, is when you're coming into those low feeling states, whether it's you feel like someone's done something to you to make you feel that way or what have you, the importance is to look down deeper in, into yourself and think like, what has happened to me in my past that has brought up all these feelings again with this other person or with this particular situation? because situations in our life tend to recycle themselves as lessons until we learn from them. So if you keep trying to bypass them and busy yourself and not really hone in on what's really the underlying cause of those low vibrational feelings, then you'll never get to move past that lesson and you're bound to repeat it again. So that's something to think about. But I have to get ready for work. So I'm sending out love, light, and healing energy. Ask that you pay it forward and pass it on. Until tomorrow. Peace. Later. I gotta get this to finish up again. Bye.